And we're back to Mass Effect 2. One one forced mission and back sort of backstabbing later. We hopefully can get back on track with what we we're intending to do to start with. Yeah. But first, eh, let's talk to Morgan. Back on the very important okay, side quest interaction. <laughs> Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean collector connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Does knowing how the Protheans fell tell us anything useful about how to stop the Collectors? Or the Reapers? Not yet. More useful as motivation. Effects on Protheans more than indoctrination, body modification. No self-preservation instinct. Old injuries not healed, no reproduction, just cloning. Technology overriding biology, not augmenting. No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves, tools for reapers. Protheans dead, collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. Fair enough. You said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. Wait. You sang? <laughs> Here we go. <coughs> I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from <laughs> urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> wait for it. I wait for it. it. Beautiful, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> oh, okay, let's get back on track. What is it about the collector's modification that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression. Been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. If you feel that yeah. way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. I didn't think Fair you needed enough. any more motivation than you already had to stop the collector. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let you down. Fair enough. <laughs> Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Oh. I'm an extremely rational person like him. 
those words mean very much. <laughs> you had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. If she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. Oh, <laughs> I'm standing right here. Where's my hug? <laughs> Welcome back, sir. <laughs> anyway, how may I help? I like you, it. Yeah. Is there Do we see her on Mass Effect You have unread messages at your private terminal. Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Oh Sam my. would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Uh, we might see her in the third game. It's kind of iffy. Commander, you've received a new message at your private oh, terminal. Yeah. Thank you, you broken record. <laughs> Proceeds to insult her. This is literally just spam mail. Really though, she's a very, very, I can't possibly dislike her. <laughs> From Erdnot Darg, dear human, the clan leader told me how to get in touch with you. I don't remember much of what happened, but Chief Scout said you pulled my quad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned over at the Werelock camp. Thanks. Next time I have a chance to kill a human, I won't, unless I go into a blood rage or something. I got to go to the female camp after I recovered, and it was pretty good. I was actually thinking of joining Blood Pack before this happened. I think I'm going to stay here instead. So, that's nice. Nice. From Jert. Greetings, Commander Shepard. Liara Tassoni gave me the contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in the Dantius Towers. You helped me out of there. According to Tassoni, you also found Thane. He took down some of the Eclipse Mercs trying to gun us down. I, and I wondered if you could pass along my thanks. The way he moved. One was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another's neck, then shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in constant motion. Seeing him changed my life, woke up something in me I didn't fully underst don't fully understand yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Solarian lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him, the beauty, that aesthetic perfection. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes. So if you could tell him that, or just whatever parts that you think are appropriate, I'd appreciate it. That's nice. Yeah. Also, thanks for the help, Liera. Mm hmm. Speaking of things, we should probably go have a chat. Yeah, and with Samara and with Tali. Well, Tali's in engineering, so. Samara's yeah, over here, though. We should probably spend more time yeah. talking to her, actually. Probably. Is she a Probably not. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, Maybe. I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morin. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife. Which seems a uh, perfect course. place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from the Madeira Asari dialect. It means demon of the night wind, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Marin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. Oh, shit. Ugh. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. 
I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the moon, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my neutron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find more. I'd say something about the camera angles, but we've been playing Rise. <laughs> I guess that technically can't say something about the camera. <laughs> no one. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanner trained my body for this role since I was six years old. The Hanner? Have you been killing since you were mm -hmm. six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were trained. <coughs> I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... I've never seen one move quickly outside of water, or fire a gun. Fair enough. Yeah? Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the compact. It was an honor for our family. So it's just species even more than others who need assassins. Because they rescued us. Because they literally cannot defend themselves. We owe them our lives. That is the compound. And, uh, I mean, I guess they do have biotics. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our home world, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, and the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. What exactly are the terms of the compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. So, the Age of Strife. They made your whole race into mm -hmm. slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep so for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch. He dies. And the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. Uh, My apologies. You right. Drill slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. No, no, you've got our curiosity now. Yeah. If my memory serves me, Drell basically can have a perfect recall of things, but they don't exactly control when they have perfect recall. 
I oh. neither the event nor when they have perfect recall of it. Oh, he said it. Okay, right. I, yeah. So many races. Sometimes I get them confused a bit. Understandable. Okay. Tally. I'll still walk past these two. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> I only understood half of that. <laughs> I think that pretty much applies to him as well. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. Nobody who knows you could believe you betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an Admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. How often is someone in the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Yeah. I mean, even if you did, you'd succeed You'd succeed without dying. Yeah. <laughs> She's a member of Especially Shepard's crew. We... Yeah. So we how does the trial work? Help. How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial, or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. Well, you tell me. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The Admirals will be waiting for us. Of course. We have all the time in the world to do it. Speaking of which, can we do any normal dialogue? Whenever we have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. I'll get okay, back to you, Tally. Talk to you later. Disappoint. But first, I guess we have Grunt's thing. Yeah, we need to go take care of Grunt's issue. Yeah, the thing, you know, the thing. The issue that we still don't know what is. Some kind of indoctrination, I guess. In explored places. 
could do this, but we're not. We're gonna wait until quite a while to do that, actually. Of course. How could we possibly do the main mission without doing everything else first? Unless you know, we can't take it first. Fucking person, man. It's fucking stupid. Fucking fucking. I'm not salty, you're salty. Thanks, so glad I don't monetize these videos. <laughs> No, everything else just comes from Patreon. You yeah. know, when you remember to Speaking mention of. it. Speaking of which, yeah. there's a Patreon. Yeah, description's down below and things. So. Yeah, All that. that good stuff. Let's bring Garrus. Yeah. Let's bring a Turi into Tachunka. What could possibly go wrong with this? Immediately gets attacked. <laughs> Has increased his strength after the destruction of Clan Warlock. Based on population profiles, Clan Erdnot has adopted surviving members of Clan Warlock, mostly women and children. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. What's already going to do then? Also, you remember uh, when we. Eyes straight ahead. Fuck off. Remember when we picked up a piece off of one of these trucks? Anything. Hmm. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? I found a combustion manifold out in the field. Is this what you need? Certain building one from scratch at least. You just saved me three days work, human. You burn my time if you want it. How do you feel about what Rex is trying to do? The old man's crazy if you ask me, which you just did. But that stuff fixes itself. If it doesn't work, Rex gets torn to shreds and we find out who's got the next best plan. Bad enough. Probing plays so much importance on martial strength. How did you become a mechanic? How do you think those fools make it to the field to kill each other? Who do you think keeps the weapons working? Without yeah, you're not there's wrong. no battle, just slaughter. I am the military might of Clan Erdnot. Yeah. He gets uh, it. Krogan engineer is more is still still makes a little more sense than a Krogan scientist or a Krogan boy. Get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. <laughs> Get back. Usually in that order. All right. All right. Of course, Grunt would have something to say about this place. This what? is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Vio. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. <laughs> Yeah, the great Chang is kind of so blow. <laughs> Shepard, what can I do for you, my friend? I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, whelp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? <laughs> I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Adolescence? Can't we just take him to Omega and buy him a few dances? 
I don't care what <laughs> aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. <laughs> so, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> You'd know, wouldn't you, Rex? Yeah. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Unwell, Shepard. You would definitely know. I also find it hilarious he's just got a throne of rubble. That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Or fixing something if you can't hunt. It was a special bid on the Citadel. What are you gonna fuck? The Citadel Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan right in the middle. Huh. Well, I'm not putting a damn Asari statue up here, if that's what you want. <laughs> Don't be a fool. Your honor, you're fighting against the Raptor. Maybe they could have honored us by not bombing us with the Jedi page. Yeah? Mm. Y'all just gonna glare at each other? Y'all gonna actually fight? Can you, like, get closer and talk to them or something? Grab yeah. some popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> they don't always do it, but every now and then they'll actually, they'll actually headbutt and start grappling each other. Eh, I don't have time to sit there and stare at them. Watch it. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. Excuse you. Oh, okay. You yourself, Galatavuvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. It smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Ubank. I don't care what this idiot says. Grunt has the right to be here. There's some fire, and from an alien. Oh, the shame this heaps on those who whine like pups. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Grant stands against him. He has no one. <sighs> My patience is tested. But Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your grant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? Grunt will strengthen Clan Erdnot. Name our target, and it will die. Spoken well. Most aliens, and some Krogan, do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. <laughs> <coughs> you. You dare. <laughs> I like this human. He understands. Head but I don't. <laughs> yes. This will be decided elsewhere. <laughs> it's well worth not having a helmet for that. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. <laughs> <laughs> My mother always said I was hard-headed. <coughs> is that Krogan going to be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. We've waited long enough. I like Tell this, us Shepard. This works. <laughs> really like like us. Us. Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested and that you must adapt. Then let's do it. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. 
Anakin. I am kind of amused that they absolutely got, got uh, Garrus out of that cutscene. It's like, nope, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> the Garrus just stepped back and like, I'll just let them deal with this. Like, I don't want to even think how they would have read it with, with the Turian test. Imagine if, um, imagine if Garrus, Garrus was the one to head but. Right. <laughs> It's like, more bite from a Turian than from the Krogan. How pathetic. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The Keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars in the passage of centuries. It endures. Like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the Keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Fair enough. First things first. Let's get started, Shepard. Get the Keystone. Pay money. Free loot. Well, he didn't succeed. Nope. And I'm actually gonna... It should tell you something when I'm not immediately grabbing the med kit and power cells. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. It means... It shouldn't them later. It means I might need these later. Mm -mm. Alright. Oh, no. Let's do this. First the Krogan conquered to Chaka. And mastered a natural world. So basically, it's literally just a big impact to attract wildlife. <laughs> yeah. You could say that. Replaying. One last super. Oh, hello there. Thank you, Gamers. This time you didn't forget the buttons. Oh, I did. I pressed G first, and then I was like, oh wait, I need to press H. Wasn't it F? No. Oh, yeah, it is. See? I forgot even the button I pushed. <laughs> I am bad. Did you know that? I have started to know this lately, yes. Yeah, I forgot to mention, as of, as of last night, I have officially beat La Mulana! Yay! Uh, look forward to double loading because it will go only be after this I Yeah, it only took an entire Mass Effect game, an entire Mass Effect game and a half. Worthless. The first game was kinda short. I mean, we did record more Mass Effect than we recorded than at that time. You know, except for the last time in which, um... Yeah. It was a bit of a long episode. That was a word for it. One last to her. I still need to do that one last challenge, but uh, we'll get there we'll one get later. later. And then we can finally start from the level level two, which I personally like a lot more.
I'm not going to fight for me anyway. We've been spotted. Not quite. Close enough. Both sell both stages. Just, you know, this one's an actual guess. I still have no idea what the fuck that is. Well, it it's a penguin that it's for a moment. No, it doesn't actually have a name. You can't turn it at all. Oh. I'd say that maybe it's a vision of a rhyme, but we've seen it. Exactly. Okay. Don't forget the. That looks nothing like Arachna. Indeed. Pretty sure to see when they're just on the queen, anyway. Uh. Mm, mm, Don't quite as big as the. Um. Well, what the sun worm thing we killed in the pressures? Yeah, pressures. Pretty sure Treasure should still lag it on that thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Maybe it's a Greek Sanguine. Yes. Well, shit, yeah, that's a lot. For a moment, I forgot that was possible. I know, I've I had so much of it. Yeah, all I can think of is maybe it's like a Greek Sanguine or something. Absolutely, you have a look at some more things. Yeah. At well, least there was a recharge point there or something I didn't really notice. Yeah, yeah, there's ammo lying around. Oh, okay. And I guess it would be a bit unfair if they expected you to... Uh, Do all this without... Three supplies. We need to trigger the yeah. keystone to continue the right. It would make it specially hard for whatever you decided to do after that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ran, got a question for you. What's next? What kind of creatures are attracted to seismic vibrations? Treasures. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong weapon. It's the one that treasures were my fears. And now you know what I consider worth using the cane on. Wait, that was right. <laughs> Remember when you said you wanted me to fight a Thresher Maul on foot? Well then. It doesn't look like a Thresher though. I guess this is just a tail. Tail. Right. Oh, it's the end there. It's just quickly shaped. Survive! Ah, oh. Grunt. <laughs> Run! Alright. Come on. Pop back up for me. I don't think he liked it. You think? Also, did you notice how much the ammunition dropped for that thing? Yeah. Like, I only get one shot. I wonder you like that gun so much. There you go. Pressure on foot. Yeah. Company. Good. I want more. <laughs> well, I got some of the ammo. I'm sorry, Grunt, for making it to this. Yes. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My cramp gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. 
you say you're pure. No alien meddling in your construction. Just the warlord of Kier. The best Krogan traits are distilled into Grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem, but not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name, on Shepard's name, but now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions, you could not breathe or serve on an alien ship, but you'd be clan in name. It's your choice, Grunt. It sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Ulrich, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. Eh. I picked the wrong dialogue option. Oh boy. Moving in close. I should have picked I should have picked the second one. It's, it basically summed up as if I know Grunt, his answer is gonna be at muzzle velocity. Excuse me while I just loot in the middle of the firefight. Mm -hmm. That doesn't this sound like a little one answer. This should punch through their armor. Ah, you wanna play shotguns? I can play shotguns. Barrier. Better sounds bro. Well enough though. Doesn't matter. What? <laughs> I guess there was another one. <laughs> yep, there was one right behind me. Attention, death is safe. I guess that wasn't really applying apply in this case. More no. like tunnel vision. Bollocks. Dueling right into the Shut up. He's pretty talkative for a corpse. You sure he's dead? Am I still be regenerating? No. Moving his meat. Let's signal at the keystone to get out of here and leave him to rot. Don't kiss me. That's one way to put it, I guess. <laughs> you have passed the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive. But it has been years since a thresher mob fell. Your name shall live in glory. Run, you are Erdnacht. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battle master. <coughs> Shepard is my battle master. He has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnacht Grunt. Accept this token from Fortan. Yeah, after the battle, reason. after the treasure map, I don't think anyone would dare to disagree with that one. Yeah, I remember, the, no one's killed them all since Rex. Yep. Who conveniently who's... served under Shepard. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, I guess who's also served with Shepard. <laughs> what were you called before you became Shaman? I gave up my name when I became the Shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. 
Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the rite of passage. Krogan suffer the rite of life at birth, and the rite of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The rite of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I passed through rites that made me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. Indeed. I want to know Someone's got that voice, right? Mm hmm. Chanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. Survival Even is the Krogan need the wise. Mm -hmm. Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you, of all aliens, would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it. No stopping us. Right. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. This might be useful. Grunt has joined Clan Nerdnaut and should be emotionally stable. We'll monitor Krogan's progress of societal acceptance with the Clan Erdnot. Hopefully Clan Bonds will not interfere with loyalty to Shepard. Data regarding Clan Krogan Clan politics useful. Hmm. Yep. Hey, it didn't force us back into the... Yeah. Where the fuck is the kind of knack of the ambassador. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. I am Erdnot Grunt. This human is part of my grant. Erdnot allows humans in a candidate's grant. Interesting. I am the ambassador to Erdnot from Clan Nakhor. We're a small clan based in aquatic wastes. What business does Clan Nakhor have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakhor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Stop. Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka. And we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? <sighs> you don't know as much as you think, human. A Kroger diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. I should go. I'm sure you were needed elsewhere. The we are. We are needed in lots of places. Ah, oh, it's time to stare at them. Everybody's her. As if it does as Rex himself. Sean. I saw him. I tackled the Baron. It was it was good. Fast and strong. Well of course he was. Any son of yours must be. Then they went back to the female camp. It was so fast. Hmm. Yep. Makes sense. I think. I heard not has increased in strength after the destruction.
destruction of Clan Warlock. In you addition, killing before. the Thresher Maw has produced several oh. breeding requests for Grunt and one for Shepherd. <laughs> 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 and yes, there is still the breeding request for Shepherd if you're playing female Shepherd. Oh. It's just like they don't care. They don't care who or what you are. If you're that badass, they want some. Yeah, no shit. Train would like to speak with you, Commander. Interesting. Well, we still have much to do, so yep. we can start tackling all that next time. Bye-bye.